Crystal O and today I'm going to bring you into what my Fridays look like especially like this Friday it's not like a regular Friday but we'll just roll with it so I'm currently cleaning up my room and yes I do have some acne like little pads on there just because I feel like some acne is coming in so I'm trying to catch it early but um, yeah um, I'm just cleaning up my husband comes home today he left me y'all this man left me for uh, four or five days, he went on a mission trip to Tijuana. So i um, currently trying to clean up the room and just kind of make the home welcoming for him when he gets home. Like my mother said, you better cook his favorite meal. You better make the whole house. You better clean the whole house. So here I am listening to my mother. So for the most part, our room is probably, you know, where <laughs> we got the most, you know, clutter going on because we have so much clothes and we actually need to do like a spring cleaning or some kind of spring give, something needs to happen. But for the most part, that's all I'm really doing in organizing things. Um, after this, I have to go to work. I'm so sad because usually on Fridays, we don't go to work. We work remotely from home doing like documentation and notes. So usually I have my Fridays, I'm at home and I just work from my computer. Um, but today I have to go in because as we all may know, Rona, Corona, COVID-19 she is misbehaving. So we um, lost some of our interns who um, work with particular clients. So we, you know, as a staff have to make up for that and, you know, come together and um, support one another. So I have to go in today just to do um, some quick things and then I'll be done for the day. Um, I have a lot going on today. The weather isn't that great. So I don't know if this vlog will be like, you know, all like sunshiny and aesthetically pleasing, but we'll just roll with it because this is a day in my life. This is real life, right? So we'll do that. But anyways, I just want to show you guys my nightgown because I think it's hilarious. But um, <laughs> let me turn the camera. So y'all, this is my nightgown. I am probably the most African person you will meet. Um, I got this nightgown, like I think for Christmas. And of course, y'all, it's from Nigeria because Nigerians love to stamp Chanel on everything, even if they don't have a license to do that. Like, who told you you could stamp Chanel on this nightgown? But nonetheless, it's so soft, it's so comfy, and it's like silky. So, you know, I'm not the kind of girl that like wears like, you know, the sexy cute like pajamas to bed. This is what I wear to bed. I mean, I will put on some lingerie or whatever, you know, but then that gets taken off. So, you know, there's no point really. But um, I like loose clothing or no clothing. I'm just huge on like feeling free when I sleep. I don't like restraints. I don't like to things that are tight on me. I just don't like that. So this is what I'm wearing. Let me know if you own one of these really big, non-aesthetically pleasing nightgowns because I do. So we are basically twins and we are matching. So like I said, there is clutter on the floor. I am trying to hang up some stuff. Um, as you can see, there's so much clothing right here, y'all. Like spring cleaning needs to happen, like needs to happen. So packing this stuff up and I'm going to organize it later. But for the most part, um, yeah, I'm just gonna go ahead and continue doing what I'm doing. Um, this is one of my newest plants. <laughs> Say hello, she's doing great. And um, yeah, I'm just going to keep doing what I'm doing and I will check in with you guys. I have to get ready for work in about 20 minutes so i'm gonna do that really quickly because i did shower yesterday i actually had a photo shoot yesterday so stay tuned for those pictures on the gram i'm really excited about them they came out really good so um we shall see but let me go ahead and get this clutter out of the way i'm probably just gonna pack it up and put it somewhere and stow it somewhere until i actually have time to like go through it one by one and um, organize and hang up and put in my, you know, put fold stuff and put it in my drawer. But for now, it ain't that happen. So let me go ahead and begin this process. I also need to move this back to the office. <laughs> Y'all, I have every random thing like everywhere. But anyways, I'm gonna go ahead and get my day started and let's do it. All 
Okay, so it would not be a day in my life if I did not show you guys this weapon that I kept next to my bed because y'all, my husband traveled for the week, like I said, and I was like, look, y'all not finna roll up on me unhanded, empty handed without my Glock on me. So uh, I have a little knife, but now it can go back to the kitchen where it belongs. Besides the point, it was my weapon for the week. And I mean, I didn't have to use it on nobody because that would have been unfortunate for them. So just had to show you guys this little handy dandy DIY weapon. If your husband or your roommate travels, this is the move. So there you go. setup I have in there I know I know so many flowers but this right here is so cute I love this little you know frame of it but um, like I said we did a photo shoot yesterday with a bunch of flowers hint hint and um, I did not want them to go to waste so I literally just put them around my sinks well my sink uh, one sink and um, that's kind of what they look like I also did melt some in candles um, so that was pretty cool. And then there are some right there as well. And I also have some on the dining table just for ornaments. I want to see how these dry and how these like dry and die too. Like I wonder like what they're going to look like. But if they're still keepable when they dry or die, I can always reuse them. But we shall see. So that's basically kind of what that looks like. But that's me. That's me. That's me. All right. So now I'm about to head out for work. Where are my shoes? Oh, okay, there they go. I'm about to head out for work, um, and it should be a really, really quick, just one hour pop in, just to get what I need to do done. And then, sis has a whole day planned ahead of her. Where is my bag? <laughs> sis has a whole day planned ahead of her um, that I will be taking you guys on, so stay tuned. I can't find my bag, like literally can't find it. Maybe it's in the car. Maybe it's in the car. Let's check the car. Oh 
Huh, I really hope it's in the car. Ain't nobody got time to be losing stuff today. Nobody. Yeah, it's in the car. <laughs> Praise Jesus. Okay, let me lock up and head to Trabajo. I think Trabajo means work in Spanish, right? I don't know. I hope it does, but let me head to work. Oh my gosh, I forgot to take the trash out. I really hope they didn't come yet. Oh no, they already came. Shoot, I missed trash pickup. And our trash can is literally so full. Yeah, they already came. Ugh. That's so sucky. I totally forgot to drag it out on Thursday. And now we <laughs> just trash pick up. So basically that means that we're gonna have to sit with the trash in our trash can for another week. And y'all, it is already filled up. This is not good, but it'll be fine. We'll be all right. It's gonna stink outside in our house, but it'll, it'll be fine. <sighs> we'll try again next week. All right, I am back from work. Um, I think I spent about two hours in there. Um, one hour was with the client, and then one hour I was just doing notes and documentation and all of that good stuff. But we are work free. It is currently 12 o'clock p.m. And what's the plan now? I'm kind of tempted to go to HEB because, you know, Rona out here making everybody stock up. And I felt like a Proverbs 31 woman would stock up. Like, that's just what like, she would do, right? So um, I was like, darn it, I need to be a good wife. So I need to go to the grocery store and stock up. And not just, just to, be, to be a good wife, but because we need food to survive, you know, that's important. So probably gonna go to HEB and wrestle for some toilet paper or hopefully just have a smooth experience and not have to, you know, square up for some soap. Okay, so we'll see. So change of plans. I am going to head to Zoe's because it's closer, kinda. And then I'm gonna eat because I'm hungry. <laughs> and I'm, I don't wanna merge into the hangry zone, so. Oh yeah, go ahead and eat. And I'm gonna share my thoughts on the coronavirus in a little while, in a little bit, once I get my food. Probably after I get my food, so I'll be more clear-headed and not say anything crazy. But um, yeah, once I get my food, I'll let y'all know. Crystal? Yes. Got it, Thank you. So I ended up getting my food from Zoe's because I was literally starving. I'm going to show you guys what I got before I dig in. Just so you can see um, one of the whole 30th group options at Zoe. So I got two, well, I got um, shrimp kebab. It's so yummy, y'all. It's so good. I got shrimp kebab, and it comes with like little lemons. And then I got um, hot potato salad. It's so good. And I got veggies. And then I got an extra side of veggies because it's pretty yummy. And also veggies are super fooling. And I got some sauce. Um, this is the Moroccan harissa. I really like it. And I'm basically addicted to this. Yeah. Okay, so I just finished my meal. It was really good. And um, now I am headed to HEB. I was gonna take a nap, but then I really feel like I do need to like at least prepare and like buy like more cleaning supplies and you know um, hand sanitizers for the home and stuff. Um, just because I know like a lot of that stuff is already out in store, like there are none already. So let me go see. Um, I was told that people were at HEB and like shopping for stuff in like grocery stores as early as 6.30 to like make sure they got 
the items they needed. It is currently like 1.15 p.m. So I don't even know if there's gonna be anything left for me, but I really do hope there will be. Um, but the odds are not probably in my favor, but hopefully I'll find something, right? So I'm gonna head in there and see what we can find. I'm already annoyed, y'all. Like there are so many cars at HEB and I literally live here and there are never this many cars at HEB. So I am very shook for one, but I get it. We all want supplies, but my goodness, guys, like this is a lot. It's a lot of people, so. Hopefully I find something, y'all. Hopefully I find something. successfully gathered um, the items that I needed from the grocery store y'all you saw what you saw so items were completely out of stock items like hand sanitizer and tissue paper and any cleaning product that like had some kind of disinfectant property in it was pretty much out of stock I did get one like all natural cleaning like you know spray but i don't even know if it's gonna work it's like essential oils i don't know if essential oils work i know they're healthy and good for your heart and your mind and your soul but i don't know if they're gonna protect me against rona okay that's the problem but anyways um yeah i'm a frequent at heb like i live at heb so just walking into heb and seeing the shelves empty was just like <gasps> Oh my gosh, am I too late? Did I miss out on like gathering, you know, food for my home and my family? So um, it was a little like I had a moment. I won't lie. I did have a moment where I was like, man, like I feel like a bad wife or I feel like I didn't, you know, prepare well or um, prepare ahead of time. Like I remember walking into I come to HB like every day, you know, before all this started getting crazy. I wish I would have just been more a little bit more sensible maybe or and grab like tissue paper before the whole corona epidemic. Um, but how would I have known, right? So I have to be kind to myself and easy on myself because there's also grace for me. But I did grab a couple of things that I think were important for the home. So the foods that I got are not all whole 30, of course. I did buy like pasta and like rice and no, I didn't buy rice. But yeah, yeah, I did buy rice and just stuff for the home. Um, my husband is not doing whole 30 so he can definitely eat that now but I bought that because I know I'll be doing whole 30 in about four days so it won't be as strict of a of a requirement for me to stick to whole 30 even though I do plan on eating more whole 30 ish regardless um I think this whole corona thing is crazy um I for one feel like I was very indifferent and very calm I feel like you know you don't have to clear the shelves and like you know hoard everything because everyone also needs things as well like take what you need yes but don't like take above and beyond what you need that's just greedy so that's what i think i don't think that we shouldn't prevent and protect ourselves i think we should but i think we should over we should also not overdo it and then like completely tip over off the scale on fair and live and behave from that place because then things like this happen where people don't have resources because you're hoarding and wanting to keep yourself safe and protect yourself only. So that was a little annoying for me today. Um, my thoughts on Corona, I believe that it is lethal. I believe that it has killed people. My heart goes out to those that, you know, have been killed by Corona. Um, but mostly in a lot of the conditions are going to be mild. The only crazy part which makes it a real issue is like how fast it spreads and how like there is no cure and there's no treatment, right? So that's really crazy and a little, you know, can be a little anxiety producing. But honestly, in this season, I'm just 
going to re-rely on God um, and just trust God that I'm going to do my part in taking care of myself and my home, um, as well as making sure that I'm protecting myself, from, protecting others from being exposed to me if I feel like I'm sick or I don't feel well. So that's really it. Um, let me know your thoughts on Corona. Let me know your experiences with Corona or like in your country or in your state where you are right now, what's happening? Like, I would love to know what's happening because I'm just in America. I'm in Texas. So I would love to know what's happening in your state, um, in your city, in your town. And is there like a crazy hoarding or a lack of stock and stuff in America or in Texas right now or in Waco, Texas is tissue. <laughs> People are like snatching all the tissue and the hand sanitizers. So let me know what that is in your place of living and I would just be so interested in knowing where you are at emotionally mentally physically um if you need to take a break off of social media because you just need to like take your brain on a just quick little vacation away from everything Rona do it okay do it meditate pray listen to worship music keep yourself encouraged and just stay safe um I love you guys and let's go ahead and get to the next thing today I'm gonna go home and unload these groceries and then I'm gonna head to Dallas that is the next thing on the agenda. Y'all, won't God do it? Won't God do it? Just when I wanted to give up, my breakthrough came. <laughs> That's a word. Talking about how I felt like I, you know, kind of dropped the ball because I hadn't stocked up on tissue. And low key, our tissue like burns like out fast because I don't know why, but I use so much tissue paper. I don't know why. Anyways. Besides the point, y'all. So I was walking out of HEB, the last grocery store, the first grocery store that I went to, and then this lady walks up to me and she was like, did you find everything you need? Now, mind you, this lady did not work at the store. She was also like wheeling her stuff to her car and like packing her car up. So as she was returning the cart, my car was by the, you know, return the cart place. So she's like, did you find everything you needed? And I'm like, you know, yeah, I did, but like I didn't find tissue paper or toilet paper or whatever. And she was like, well, I heard Dollar General has some. <clears throat> so I said, okay, let me just try to see what they have. You know, it wouldn't hurt to just go there. So I just mustered up enough courage and said, okay, well, if I get this L, if I take this L, I take this L. So I went there and at first I found this. And I was like, okay, well, that's fine. I found this and the Kleenex box. And I'm like, okay, coconut soothing lotion, uh, you know, clean. I ain't never seen you before, but I need you in my life. So I went ahead and purchased that. And I purchased this one. And like, while I'm in line, y'all, kid you not, while I'm in line, they're like literally unboxing and restocking for all of their tissue paper. Like, <laughs> Will he do it? So your girl, we are out here with this treasure that I just found. Like I literally felt like I found treasure. If you follow me on Instagram, you saw when I found it and kind of how I felt about it literally being treasure. So it's like me with my treasure, you know, <laughs> or whatever. Um, there is a limit um, to per how much you purchase, of course. You can only purchase two per person or two per like, you know, visit so i only got one y'all like i said i don't want to be that person that's just like overdoes it and like stocks up and takes from others who could also be needing and purchasing um for bigger families or for maybe someone who's older or more susceptible to uh corona so this is enough for us the lord will provide he will provide so y'all the anxiety the fear Kiss it goodbye because God is good and he's going to provide in the smallest of ways through a lady at a store telling me where to go to, to find tissue paper. So, um, yeah, that's that was pretty awesome. So I'm going to go ahead and head to Dallas. Your girl is kind of tired. But like I said, um, my husband did leave me. He did leave me. He went to Tijuana for a mission trip. I told him that I'm going to need him to quarantine himself. But we shall see when he gets back. Um, I guess when I pick him up tonight, how he's feeling, and we'll kind of go from there. This little cute setup is kind of cute. Okay, background, a tissue, treasure. Okay, you better, you better gleam or whatever. You better be a rare commodity or whatever. Um, it will be late and dark by then, so I don't know if I'll vlog that part or what. But 
it has been interesting and different um, without my husband being here. Of course, it was kind of almost like a week of being single, um, a week of just kind of, I guess, yes, thinking of him and yes, like missing him and texting him, but just like being without him, like here, present around, you know, the house or just there. So it was different. I did have like this whole little week to experience some taste of singleness. So of course it's not like straight up singleness because I've been single before. I haven't forgotten. Okay. But it was interesting just to see like, oh my gosh, like this is the longest we've ever been apart and how I was able to deal with that. And I'm interested to see how he was able to deal with that. So if this is the end of our video here, guys, stay safe. Wash your hands. Don't put your hands in your mouth, your eyes, your ears, your nose. Just keep it away, okay? Wash, wash, wash. If you get ashy like me after you wash your hands, lotion, 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 because ashiness ain't cute either. So, yeah, if this is the last you'll see of me, peace out. Um, if you enjoyed this video, make sure you give it a thumbs up. And I will see you guys in my next video. Bye.